All right, what do we have here, Tim? Got a custom design one-off wrap for the bathroom buggy here. Old floor seater's gonna get a facelift. Nice. So, you won't be my twink anymore? No more twinkie. <laughs> not going to take it completely out, but I'll pull this section out. So it's cold in the air. Everything's still got to warm up, but... Yeah, it kind of gives us a little bit of a visual of what this whole thing will look like. Super high quality, super thick material. I want to say it was 24 or 26 millimeter material. Okay. It's crazy thick. They use the highest quality. It's uh, made by Toy Skins. Okay. A guy named Barrett designed it, and we'll leave a you know some contact info in there for him. But uh, got a good guarantee on it, and. Uh, should watch, turn out good. Watch those corners when he's rolling it back up. You gotta watch this. So show me what's going on here with the machine. So we gotta take and clean everything. Like I just washed it at the car wash. We rode it around Thanksgiving, got it dirty, and uh, had it in storage. Got it out, washed it at the car wash. Now we're going to remove all the stickers I'm gonna take off and redo I'm gonna remake these rock sliders here they're lower quality sliders I bought um, so all the stickers have to come off everything's got to get wiped down five or six times with rubbing alcohol once you get that done um, you can you can start putting a wrap on all the, the wrap is all individual pieces so Every different shape or the, the body line, the way the different body lines move, there's nothing really folding over. Uh, I think it's going to be nice. I'm going to build a bumper. I started playing around with that here. I'm going to take the old cage and uh, just build a little bull bar. It comes up, I don't know, a little bit less than halfway up the grill just to try to protect it, you know, if I nose dived or anything like that. Uh, there's still a lot of things to do, but that's where we're at for now. So yeah, we'll have this video coming up shortly.
All right, so I have attempted to start laying this stuff out where it needs to be. I've done lots and lots of cutting. The doors still need some adjustment. I think it's going to look really good. There's obviously still pieces that are not on this thing. But we're getting there, just trying to lay it out and... I don't know, get some shape to it. That's a big mess from all this cutting. All these pieces come on this big piece of paper, basically. And to mock it up, you want to leave the backside on so you're not sticking it a whole bunch of times. Even though I was told you're, you know, you can do that. Um, put some saran wrap over my welding table because the table's dirty. But all the backing is left on. These pieces, use a razor knife, you know, just cut all this stuff out. Back door. Uh, the quality is crazy. I would say it's almost as thick as like a Speedway card, I would think. Maybe not, it's not as quite as thick as that, but I mean, that's a, a good example of how thick it is and the quality and uh, material and everything like that and the design is unreal uh, dude does crazy good work it's toy skins the designer was Barrett he's out of Canada toy skins is from the US so if you guys are looking to do a wrap I don't know if I'd do it myself again but I would uh, suggest I've been inside all night I just came out this morning and the heat and blowing around in here is <clears throat> knocking some of these off but they're just taped on with masking tape for now but hopefully we can start laying some stuff down you can see like the gap here this whole thing's got to slide this way to get everything to line up but it's got really good coverage I temporarily set that there. I cut that on my CNC machine a couple weeks ago. But that was just an idea. I don't think it's going to be there. But it's just sitting there for now. I think it'll look good. <clears throat> with my 32s.
All right, so a good majority of the body panels are on. All of the main body panels are on. Everything looks good. The doors are not done yet. They're just sitting here. There's a lot of movement around. I have not had to trim anything on the body. The doors, they're going to have to have some trimming. Um, but that's because, you know, they're not stock doors. And they're trying to, you know, I, they I gave him a whole bunch of measurements to uh, help him get the shape and size. And uh, it worked out good, but, like... It's unreal, the quality of this stuff. Like, there's no denying it. Now, I have not done the hood yet. And most of this is time-lapse, which you guys will see. But I'm just trying to whittle it away. Had my buddy Alan and my brother Jeremy helping me out a lot. But these are on. Those are on. They're dirty, but. The doors still have nothing. It's a little tricky. You have to make sure that all these lines line up, but yet the piece is still, for the most part, on its body panel. Not every inch of the machine is covered. There is gaps and spaces. And uh, to be honest, it, it's coming together and looking awesome. But obviously it's a big mess. There's paper everywhere. The hood's the only part of the body that has not been cleaned. But the rest of the machine has. And uh, yeah, so it's getting there. guys so the doors are still not done but the main body is all the hood everything up here is done it is not heated down yet so this material you can put down and take up as many times as you want it does not stretch like a normal sticker it does not crinkle like a normal sticker um, it, it works 
amazing. So if you're scared to do it, um, I, I wouldn't be because it uh, really just lays down where you think might be a bubble or a crease. If you pull, you know, the right way, I've never had it stick to itself. I've pulled these hood pieces were kind of tricky because this is a section and it's all connected. So you have to go around the roll bar and under the dash panel, under the hood, but then you still got to make sure everything lines up and, uh, you know, you know, these line up. There's, it's a little tricky, but you just got to make sure everything lines up and, um, it's not so much to the body. These are all pre-cut pieces. I did not cut anything so far. The only thing I'm going to have to cut is the door. Um, so you need to line it up into the shape of the body to the outside of the panel. But you got to remember that is a, it is a two-dimensional image that you're putting onto a three-dimensional machine. And so that makes it a little bit tricky. But this company... Toy skins, they compensate for all these curves to where like you, t you have this piece in your hand and you're like, well, where does this go? It doesn't look like any shape on there. But then for a perfect example, let me see if I have one. I'm not, I'm not going to use this piece. This wasn't supposed to come with, but I can't even, can't even tell how thick it is. But uh, this piece goes right here. This is something that wasn't supposed to come with, and so I'm not going to use it because it was, you know, I don't, I don't really like it, but like, you wouldn't know where this shaped piece goes. But then it just, it folds right around here, and everything is compensated. All your bends and your curves, and uh, it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to explain the crazy techniques that have gone into it like this piece here this piece was this piece here when you look at it on as a flat piece it's all pointed way up here up here like this but then once you line it up here and you fold it around the curve here it pulls this down so I mean they've done all the compensating for it but you could take this up as many times as you want and all you have to do is uh, once you're once you got all the pieces on and everything lines up good and you're completely happy with it, then you take the heat gun and you heat the whole thing and it locks it down. And uh, they've got a very good warranty. And uh, the guy I'm working with, Barrett, he's super knowledgeable. Um, he'll help you with anything. You can almost call him anytime. I normally message him when I have a question, and he'll just tell me to call him, and it gets it taken care of right away, you know. It doesn't cover all of your body panel, which I thought, I didn't think about it, but after I got it, I realized with these being individual cut pieces, um, it's not going to cover all of your body color in the background, um, which... Luckily, my body is in good shape on this machine, but uh, it, it it shows through, you know, the color. Luckily, it goes with it. It's a blue th line themed tattered flag, and you gotta play once you go on to curves like this. You gotta play to line up these lines. Maybe move move this piece down a little bit and this piece up a little bit to where maybe it's not exactly lined up on the body the way you think it should, but it lines up to where when you look at it because once you back up and you look at the whole picture it doesn't matter it it looks awesome and uh <clears throat> in my time lapse you guys see me peeling it up off the hood to realign it and stuff like that and normally with a piece of you know thin vinyl or a window tint or uh, a regular sticker it would stick to itself or rip or stretch to where you have to take a heat gun and shrink it back down to size to where you could restart. I have not touched this one time with a heat gun yet, and I'm completely happy with it. So, if you guys are interested in doing something like this, I know I said in the beginning of the video that uh, I didn't know if I would, you know, do this again, but the way this stuff lays, you just got to get 
you know, within like two or three pieces of you putting it down, you're like, man, I could do a whole bunch of stuff with this. You get comfortable with it. So that's what I would do. I'd do it again. The doors are going to be a little bit tricky because they're not stock doors and they're going to have to be trimmed and whatnot, but it'll be worth it at the end. So. Alright, so the wrap's finished. Looks awesome. I went ahead and used a bullet casing to uh, sharpen the end to where we can cut out all these rivets um, so you have a nice circle. It was just a lot easier to lay the wrap over the doors and then use the bullet to cut the holes instead of taking all the rivets out and then drilling it all and then tweaking the doors back. Um, these doors got a lot of shape to them. The doors are the only thing that I really had to trim on this whole deal. Everything else is uh, pre-cut panels that they already have measured out that stick right on. Um, once you get it on there and you're happy with it and you got everything lined up, then you can heat it down with the heat guns. Just you know, make sure you keep moving, stay back so you don't mess the material up, and uh, you know, then squeegee it down or just take a rag and wipe it down, and it adheres pretty good. You want to let it stay in the you know the warmth of your garage or uh, you know if you live in a warmer climate area, uh, just let it sit for a couple days and then you can go out and rip it and. Uh, if you do end up getting a bubble in it, you know, down the road, you know, they suggest you just uh, peel it back up, reset it, and heat it back down again. So, uh, it's, like I said in the video, you know, uh, it's crazy thick material. It lays amazing. It does not crinkle like a regular sticker or anything you would think would do. Um, I said in the beginning of the video, I don't know if I would do it again, but after all said and done, I'd do it 50 more times. I mean, uh, this is my first time doing it. I did my roof a little bit, but that was some real thin, crappy material. And uh, if I had this, I mean, it's it's just the quality is amazing. So, other than that, the designer that designed this for me, Barrett, will leave a a link with his name and the company he works for, which is Toy Skins, in the description. You know, contact him if you guys have any. Uh, questions or want anything wrapped he's got just about everything possible you can think of um, other than that uh, like share subscribe let us know what you want to see um, we are going to review all the stuff we've done in like the last four or five months um, after we get a good use on all this stuff we're going to come back and do a review and tell you you know what we really think of these parts that we've installed and uh, durability anything like that you know anything we've potentially had problems with it just takes a little while we're paying for all this stuff out of pocket so uh, we'll have some more videos to come and uh, have a nice day we can do a shot from the machine here thing wrapped up pretty nice these are rear uppers oh they got everything labeled yeah nice the big difference now show them show them the difference between the two here yeah. this will be the new upper yeah we're gonna need a couple spring compressors I feel <laughs> here we take up that whole body I'm sure oh, yeah. 